In Portland, concern after another woman was attacked while walking alone in the West End. Police say a woman reported being punched several times in the face and head while she was walking on Gray Street Wednesday night. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Chris Costa and I'm Amanda Hill. Police say the other attacks have very different circumstances behind them. Still, this is the third in a series of incidents in the same neighborhood since fall in which women walking alone were followed or assaulted. NECN's Justin Vlitkowski reports. She was laying somewhere right here and then we ended up just bringing her on our steps and got her like an ice pack for her face and some water. We were just trying to make sure she was all right. Michael Hughes is one of the people who rushed out of his apartment here on Gray Street in Portland Wednesday night, moments after an attack on a woman walking alone, talking to her father on the phone. We heard a scream and we were just so confused by it. It was just really it's traumatizing. She fell to the ground and curled up to try to protect herself. The attacker continued to punch her in the head. This all happened right around 930 at night. The woman telling police the suspect was a slim man between five and a half and six feet tall, possibly wearing a ski mask and hood. She felt a tap on her shoulder, turned around, and the suspect in this incident punched her in the face. The attacker did not say anything to her, did not take anything from her. The victim was taken to the hospital for bruises and lacerations. Two days later, police have stepped up patrols in the area, the same part of Portland where a previous attack on a woman at night happened last fall. Another woman reported being followed by a man in a car in December. Investigators say there's no indication those are connected, given suspect descriptions and the circumstances. Back on Gray Street, this woman told us she generally feels safe because I usually am in by that time, though she might walk with her boyfriend or take a cab at night because like many people here, she would feel much better knowing that whoever did this was caught. Meantime, police are telling people walking alone to take extra care. Stay vigilant, stay in well lit areas, let people know where you're going to be if you're going out by yourself. Since in this case, the victim had taken just about every precaution. She was doing everything that you should. In Portland, Dustin Blinkowski, NECM.